The modern-day humanoid robot is like a toddler. They impart a unique essence of fear, awe, and admiration. But you know that most robots that are labeled humanoids still have a common problem. They can only walk in a slow, mechanical, and chopping motion. Even HRP-4C, the most realistic humanoid ever created, wasn't an exception. Until now, this female humanoid has begun to amaze the world in ways we never even imagined. So, what has this beautiful humanoid learned so far? Let's find out. Hi and welcome to AI World News. Today we will be speaking about Miam, the female humanoid aka HRP. 4C which can walk and dance. Please watch the video to find out all the details and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification. Humanoid robots, robots that look like human beings, are just one of many types of high-tech robots that are rapidly changing the world we live in today. Robotics in Japan has been a key industry for many years, developing new technologies and new ways to use them. The term robotics might bring to mind either industrial robots, working on assembly lines, or humanoid robots, made to mimic people. But there are many other types of robots being put to numerous different uses. And as Japan ramps up its investments in science and technology, there will be an increasing number of these robots out in the world. This is why we are going to introduce an amazing humanoid that has startled everyone with its mind-blowing learning abilities. Japan's entertaining robot that sings and looks like a beautiful young female is finally learning how to walk just like a beautiful girl. Well, almost. Robotics developers at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology AST have released a video of their HRP 4C Miam robot to show how it can walk better than before. For a formal introduction, Miam was born in 2009. She is the world's first bipedal humanoid robot which means an animal or robot that walks on two feet in the shape and size of a grown-up woman. Her name comes from an abbreviation meaning future dream in Japanese. Adding to this, Miam stands 158 centimeters tall and looks just like a real woman, and she was created using detailed data of the average measurements of a young Japanese woman. At 46 kilograms, she is quite light compared to other humanoid robots. The waist is the most important of the 44 joints that Miam has in her body. In the past, one of the problems with humanoid robots has been that they could not move their waist freely. Humans move their hips forward and backward as well as to the left and right thanks to their flexible waists. Now, Miam can move her hips freely too, making her appear much more realistic and human-like when she walks. In addition, HRP 4C has 30 motors in its body that allow it to walk and move its arms, and 8 motors on its face to create human expressions. The robot is based on user-centered robot open architecture, utilizing fundamental robotic technologies including real-time Linux, RT middleware, robot simulator open HRP3, and speech recognition. AS researchers, like other scientific groups dedicated to robotics, have been working hard to create the perfect walking robot and to design walking technologies that can make their robots most closely resemble the way humans walk. However, this has not been easy because developing a robot to walk like a human has been a challenge for engineers, but that has only motivated more work toward this end in robotics. Now, you must be wondering, how real is HRP-4C? Does Miam really have real human expressions? Well, creating robots that are truly human-like in nature relies on enabling robots to have genuinely humanoid physical forms. Fine motor skills are extremely difficult to replicate artificially because the mechanical parts driving that motion have to fit into a human-like form. A robotic hand, for example, needs finely tuned, extremely small motors in each joint, replicating the function of muscles in biological systems. Even more complex is replicating human emotions without a screen. Engineers are overcoming both challenges, however. The AIST researchers focused on a few key areas of the robot to improve results. With their restless hard work, the robot's toes now support the legs better during each stride, and the legs straighten out more. Details about how they got Miam to walk in a more human fashion than in previous iterations are in the paper. Human-like walking with toes supporting for humanoids by Kanako Miura, Mitsuharu Morisawa, Fumio Kinghiro, Shuyuji Kajita, Kenji Kaniko, and Kazuhito Yakoi. 
The authors explain that in working up a model of a walking pattern imitating human motion, their focus was placed on three characteristics of walking, single toe support, knee stretching, and swing leg motion. So, based on a conventional pattern generator, the researchers added single toe support, changed the robot's waist height to stretch the knees as much as possible, and sought to generate a swing leg motion more closely approximating a human's motion. Curiously, while some tech sites have highly praised the team for having succeeded in making HRP 4 seed Miam walk like a human being, the video showing Miam walking resembles a woman who has just been released from a long stay in hospital from suffering broken bones and must learn to walk normally again in broad daylight without crutches. Now, that's a bit fishy. On the other hand, if we talk about Miam's vocal capabilities then for speaking, it uses a prototype Vocaloid voice bank called CV 4 c Beta, developed by Krypton Future Media. CV 4 c Beta's vocal provider was Enrico Nakamura, and Krypton's commercial plans for the voice bank are unknown as of December 2012. It was also shown cosplaying as Hatsu Miku and could sing using the Miku voice bank. At this demonstration, it was able to move its head and lips in time with the music, but could not move other parts of its body. It could also use another Vocaloid voice bank named Megvoid. Still, Miam's new walking abilities are a step up, less mechanical than before. At the least, this is seen as a promising building block upon which to improve in the coming months and years. So, HRP4C was devised as a female humanoid robot for entertainment events, and it was designed to have a realistic-looking face and to carry measurements reflecting the average figure of a young Japanese female. Apart from this, if we look at the world around us today, then we can observe that AI beings with their own digital physical appearances are becoming more common. For example, an AI Instagram influencer, Miquela, has amassed over a million followers and become a fashion icon. Meanwhile, AI pop star Hatsune Miku has become a music phenomenon in Japan and around the world, with live performances from her holographic avatar opening to sold-out arenas. So, all these examples point towards Japan's success in robotics as Japan now leads the world in developing industrial robots that work in factories and lifestyle support robots that help disabled and elderly people in their daily lives. Japan is also playing a leading role in the development of humanoid robots. This work fulfills two important roles. One is advancing new technology. Creating robots that can walk on two legs like human beings is an extremely difficult challenge. So, if scientists succeed, the results should have knock-on effects across a wide range of advanced technologies. The other area in which humanoid robots are expected to have a big impact is entertainment. If scientists succeed in creating robots that look and move like humans, these new robots will be useful in lots of different ways. They might work as promotion models, for example, dancing in the latest styles at fashion exhibitions. So, robots have been part of human culture and society for decades and have become a hallmark of human concepts of the future. Efforts to create robots that are truly human in nature have revealed the incredible complexity of human biology, pushing the boundaries of scientific innovation. Furthermore, today's robots have come a long way from the humble robotic arms of the 1950s, as have the capabilities of computers, motors, and artificial intelligence. So it has become clear that humans won't stop innovating and inventing until we can walk alongside robots, marking a future where both parties can together help to build a better world. However, robotics in Japan still have a long way to go before they can truly match human performance in many areas. As it stands, fully automated workplaces are a long way away. But if we see the other way around, robots are already supplementing and assisting human workers in a number of ways, making jobs easier, safer, and more efficient. So, they may not be a complete solution to Japan's aging population and shrinking workforce, but robotics companies are constantly making new innovations and breakthroughs. Who knows what robots will look like just 10 years from now? No matter what the answer, it will be an incredible era to live in. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. And thank you for watching.